Hey, it's David. Question from a reader today on positive thinking. Does positive thinking work or not in helping overcome your shyness, social anxiety, building your confidence, so on and so forth? I'm going to answer that today here on Social Expression. Hey guys, David with Social Expression answering a question from a reader today. And this comes from Michael. It says, Hi David, I have to be honest, I tried turning negative thoughts to positive thought route for 20 years and it only masked a deep feeling of insecurity, inferiority, deeply embedded subconscious beliefs. It was only when I acknowledged, felt these negative feelings, accepted them, and then used EFT to tap on them by going negative. Uh, and feeling the shame, the pain, the disgust while tapping, did it all begin to dissipate at a molecular level? Social anxiety work without EFT to me is like breathing without oxygen. This is the impact it has had on me. It took a lot of work, many months of tapping, uh, and then the change was instantaneous. Uh, he says, sharing this because I can relate to you in so many ways, knowing how hard you work at this and EFT gets to the core, unlike cognitive hypnosis affirmation crap I did for 30 years, keep up the great work. Thank you, Michael. Uh, great question. So, um, yeah, I mean, EFT can work really good for some people. Cognitive does work for some people. Affirmations do. Hypnosis does. Um, meditation does. Mindfulness does. It, and everything doesn't work for everybody. So clearly this has had an impact on you. And I would never tell you to, to not use it because I know you're so passionate about it. Um, but it doesn't mean it works for everybody. It doesn't mean everybody wants to tap. And that's the truth of it. Just like not everybody wants to meditate. Okay. So my perspective here is that fundamentally, it doesn't matter what approach, that what we have to do is clear the thought that creates the negative feeling. Okay. And that's where, yes, positive thinking can be difficult for someone if they're, if the mind is too cluttered up and there's too much negative thinking. It's like what I call sugar over shit. Positive thinking is extremely powerful, however, but you have to know how to do it right. And if you go too positive when you're feeling too negative still, you're going to snap back into the negative, okay? But especially when we talk about getting amazing results and optimizing, and if we're talking about being really going into social mastery, which I know you may not be talking about here, positive thinking and having a good self-image and all that is extremely powerful. It makes you magnetic. It all makes all these things start to happen, okay? So... Um, but the, the, the basis of this is that the negative feeling still comes from the thought, okay? And EFT originally was called TFT, Thought Field Therapy. EFT means Emotional Freedom Technique, if you guys don't know what that is. Absolutely check it out if you're watching this and haven't checked it out. Give it a shot. I've tried it before. It didn't do too much for me. I didn't get really deep into it. It did some. But to me, it's also, you know, more work than is necessarily required because what you're doing, eventually, you should be able to do without that. Okay, because you're, you're fundamentally, fundamentally going to shift your mind and shift your neural pathways and all that, even though it's a great tool for that, obviously here for you, Michael. So what we have to look at is to get the mind to settle down, okay, and to realize that the feeling comes from the thought and nowhere else. And so, yes, to try to override it with positive may not work. It can work because it's, it can clear the thought, okay, but we have to clear the thought. We can let go of the thought. We can reframe the thought. We can accept the thought. So EFT in a way is actually a positive type of thing. It comes in there in the negative and then it installs a positive, which is I deeply and completely accept myself, right? That's a positive pretty much. Uh, and I know it, we could call it self-acceptance. It's not, but it sort of is. It's sort of turning and saying, I'm okay even though I have this thought and I'm okay, which is a very positive thing to say to me. I'm okay. It's all good. Everything works out for me. Okay. We're still using statements. We're still using language to sort of turn the thought or to clear the thought in a way, which clears the emotion. Okay. So, um, absolutely keep doing it. And I know you said, you know, in there, it says you're still working on it, you know, and, and that's cool. Like, I get it, you know, it's had a huge impact for you. But I, you know, in, in here as well, it's sort of like, you know, only mass deep feeling of insecurity, inferiority, deeply embedded subconscious beliefs. It's still negative thinking. Um, it's still a story if we look at this whole thing as a story. So we make up stories also about whatever works for us. I made up stories about positive thinking that it didn't work. And when I started to realize that was a story too, I got more leverage out of positive thinking, even though it's not the only thing I use. By a long shot, it's not the only thing that I use. I work with people in presence a lot. They have to, we have to work with awareness, with consciousness. We have to work with these things. We have to uh, have, somebody needs to see that the negative thought is generating the negative feeling. You, I don't, it doesn't always work. 
not, not only for me, but for others to just cake on the positive thought. Although, if we start to step it up and say something like, okay, I feel like a worthless piece of crap, I could start to say, okay, right? I, we're stepping it up. I accept that I feel like a worthless piece of crap. Okay. I can see that this thought of a worthless piece of crap isn't so real. Step it up again. I can see that this um, thought of a worthless piece of crap isn't really true. I can see that I'm actually not a worthless piece of crap. I can see that I'm actually a pretty decent person. I can see that actually I can feel good if and, and choose my next thought. I can see that, right? We can step it up, notch it up. And all of a sudden I can see that I'm confident. I can feel that I'm an awesome, amazing, charismatic, sexy, handsome motherfucker. Okay, so I just stepped it up and I'm, I'm gauging in my emotional system as I do it, okay? I'm feeling through it. Now, I've practiced this a lot so I can do it like that and I'll do it internally without saying it. You don't have to say it out loud, but whatever way, you got to practice it. For me, I don't prefer this. I just don't prefer it, so I don't do it and I don't teach it and I, I'm not a master of it. If it works for you, keep doing it. But eventually, I hope you get to the point where you can just do it without the tapping. That would be the ideal, right? And then you can play with thought more. This is a thought game. And then you can sh shift and shape your belief system and thought to really accelerate and have amazing life. Now, I know a lot of people here want to get to normal. And I help people to go normal and beyond to really create what they want. That's what I do. I don't just work to get to normal. To me, that's, that's boring and not, not what I want to help people with. I want them to make it as good as they can for themselves. Cool? So that is my answer. Thank you for the question, Michael. A wonderful one. And uh, as always, leave comments, questions below, all that stuff. Love to hear from you guys on the Social Expression channel. And until next video, I am complete. Hey, if you like this video and want more tips and strategies on how to overcome your shyness, social anxiety, self-doubt and really build the confidence in your social skills, conversational skills as much as you can, up to the best you can be so you can have the career success, the social circles and friends, the dating life that you want, all that and more, subscribe to the Social Expression channel by clicking on the subscribe button and check out the other videos here that are on offer. This channel is all about helping you be the best guy that you can like I've done for myself and I really want you guys to succeed. So keep watching.